Well, kids getting up and ready for school is one of the top back to the school family stressors, but there's always ways to make this challenging time easier. Today with us is wellness and lifestyle contributor Tara Wellington. She is giving us some simple back to school healthy tips. Welcome Tara from New York City. And I'll tell you what, I'm not a father anymore. Still a father, yes, but they have all grown out. But my grandchildren, wow, sometimes very difficult to get up. Tell us about that. Right, Tom, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, that, making that adjustment to that new school schedule can be really tough. And I'm here on behalf of several companies that I'll talk about today. You know, the key to that smooth change would be to plan ahead and to agree on a routine. So plot out those bedtimes and wake times, keep a calendar and look at it. And also, you know, save time by stocking up on those nutritious lunchbox items. Um, and one you can check out is uh, a good choice would be V-Blends from Good to Grow. They're a family-owned company. Uh, it's a secret way to get your kids to eat all their vegetables with this drink, and they'll like the taste, too. These are fruit and veggie juices like strawberry kiwi. And you may have seen them. They have those recognizable character sip top caps. Um, and they don't leave a mess because of them, and so it's a win for the whole family. Well, that's really some great information because starting the kids, getting them to bed uh, at that time that they would need to get adjusted going to school, probably a couple of weeks beforehand. So that way you can get rid of all the little kinks and so forth. And then, of course, when they wake up and they start the, with breakfast and they have the lunch and so forth that you're putting in the snack packs, it's healthy food to help, help them think straight and work straight and just be good kids, right? Absolutely, yes, and that's being, you know, responsible with planning ahead and really thinking things through. Of course, once we're in that school time rush, you know, we might be worried if we're going to be able to keep up with those healthy meals and healthy snacks, you know. So two tips for that would be to have a stock pantry and rely on your meal planning. Try to go to the grocery store only once per week. Use a list uh, because this can save you a lot of time. And then also the meal planning uh, will help you to have better nutrition all the way around, even with your snacks. And speaking of snacks, uh, I recently discovered Nature Box. This is an affordable monthly snack box service with free shipping. It's delivered right to your front door for on-the-go moms just like me. They have over 100 nutritionist approved snacks including vegan, gluten-free, and dairy-free. And the popular kids items would be your mango fruit chews and your whole wheat strawberry figgy bars. Oh, then those are all are delicious. Your entire display looks fantastic and delicious. Mm -hmm. Now, kids safety is also a topic of concern for parents. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tips for us there as well? Yeah, 25% um, of the over 14 million children injuries each year happen in and around schools, including on the playground, like recess when they bump or fall. And of course, if there's a head injury, you want to consider taking your child to the doctor. But for those everyday bumps and bruises at my house, we have uh, what's called a homeopathic drawer. And in there, you can find Arnicare gel. Uh, and this is for um, swelling from injuries and bruising. It helps to relieve muscle pain and stiffness. There's no fragrance and no mess because it's not greasy. So, of course, if you'd like more information, you can go to my website at tarawellington.com. That was my next question. You answered everything. Thank you so very much. Coming out live from New York City today. Thank you very much, Tara Wellington. Thank you. And we've got more after the break, so stay with us.